I'm Allison with Flick Direct, and I am here with Michael Chavez, who is the director of The Nun 2. Hello, how are you today? I am doing great, Allison. Nice to uh, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. So this is not your first film from The Conjuring Universe. Um, how is this experience different from The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It? Um, it was different in so many different ways. It was, um, I mean, it was the same in that I was working with an amazing, um, amazing cast. I really, uh, I had so much fun working with, uh, Thaisa and Storm and Jonas. They're just amazing people. Um, it was uh, different in the sense working in France, working in another country. I, I've mm-hmm. never worked in France before and I, I really had a great time. The crews were incredible. The, they just, they really bring so much passion to, to their jobs. I mean, it's not just, they're not just clocking in. I mean, it's really like they're, they're making art. It's really, it's just such a privilege. Oh, excellent. I want to talk a little bit about some of the um, special effects, particularly why the newsstand with all those magazines and how did that come about? (laughs) <laughs> that was um, it was one of the first ideas I came up with um, on the movie. Yeah, we were it was we were working on one of the earliest drafts as we were developing it. And um, I was going through street photography of uh, France and France and Spain in the uh, the 1950s. I, I just really wanted it. I wanted to capture the time. I wanted to feel like time travel. I wanted to feel like you were really in the place. And um, I kept on seeing these like European newsstands. And I just thought like, <laughs> oh. That's awesome. That's like such a relic of the past. You know, now it's like hard to find a newsstand. I live in LA and you know, there's only like a handful. Um, so I just thought this will be just visually interesting. And then and then I started to come up with the idea of like, wouldn't it be cool if like there's a little bit of like a flip book quality or a little bit of a collage quality as we're kind of moving across them. And and um, it uh, even as I was pitching it to the team, I, I think that there was some quizzical looks of like, how are you going to pull this off? And secretly, I had no idea how I was going to pull it off. I was like, I think I'll figure it out as I get into it. And then when we got into it, it just became a beast. It was one of these things where like every step of the way, it was harder than I could have possibly imagined. I mean, one of the things, I mean, there's obviously the special effect rigging element of it. There's like mechanical effects in it. There's visual effects in it. Um, beyond that, there's like every single page has to be created and then run through legal. Like legal needs to clear every single page to make sure that it's all like okay to put on the screen. And so you're, I was like not really thinking about it. And there's all of the poor art department and legal department. Like it was probably the biggest undertaking. It probably took so much resources to do this like sequence. Um, and it's like you were they cursing your name? <laughs> were they cursing? What were they? Were they cursing your oh, name? Yeah. They were like, never do it, never do this again. This has to be the last newsstand <laughs> sequence that was ever made in a Warner Brothers film ever. Um, so uh, that's that's the new Visual, rule. Visually, it was fantastic. I will say that, but uh, I, I don't envy them having to try and create that over time. Um, audiences and critics alike came out of this movie saying better than the first. As the director, how does that make you feel? And does it put more pressure on you now to up the game in your next films? I love that audiences and everybody loved it. I, 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 that's, that's such a compliment. I think, you know, just to say it, I think Corin did an awesome job with that first movie. I mean, I think Corin's so incredibly talented and I, I'm just happy that they, they love this. I think that people love, they love Valak. I think that's ultimately, uh, I'm so so lucky to ride uh, her uh, demon coattails. 